right, guys. Cool. What's going on? Me and the Hendry here talking to you guys That's about right. hologram. Hendry, hologram. Give us the history of hologram. Sorry for cutting you off hologram. there. Once more. That is okay. That is okay. Hologram to time traveler is actually the full name of it. Or some people just call it time traveler. <clears throat> it's a game released by Sega, who brought a Sega and uh, Altered Beast, some other classics. Uh, so yeah, Sega came out with this game in 1991, and it follows the same kind of gameplay, full motion video style that uh, Dragon's Lair does, and it was actually created. Like, the concept was created by the same guy who created the Dragon's Lair concept. Not Don Bluth, obviously. Don, you know, did the animation. But this is the guy who, you know, did the actual game itself, if that makes sense. So, that would be the almighty Rick Dyer. So, my, my boy Rick Dyer here, he's a... There's your phone. Yes, off that. Rick Dyer, anyway, came up with this game, and basically, you got a weird shaped cabinet where there is actually a Sony TV set. I'm not kidding. There, here's a picture of it on the screen, just for fun. And now we have this Sony TV set, and it projects onto a mirror. And it's a concave mirror, and what that does is it projects the image up to where the player's looking. And because of that, it appears like it's holographic. And the effect's pretty cool, in my opinion. The future. That's right. Anyway. The gameplay itself is based on the Old West, and you're like a a cowboy named Marshall Graham, and he's trying to save the universe from this scientist who became an evil Time Lord named Volcor. And you're also trying to rescue the princess, or we surprised, named Kyla, which is K Y I dash L A. Anyway, now I, it tell me us of what like, you thought. Have you ever watched the uh, the movie Army of Darkness? No, no, I have not. So, just very quickly, just so, sure. you, just so you know, it's like a uh, it's part of the Evil Dead franchise, and it's about like Ash going traveling back in time to like I don't know save a princess from like I guess zombies or something i don't even i don't even remember but anyway it was a long time ago anyway yeah. it reminded me of that i remember, <laughs> remember it was, like it was really funny like just this weird guy going back in time and just shooting up making mayhem or whatever it was like it was really hilarious same thing goes with this it was like it's really funny like a hologram type of uh very funny hologram esque features to it like the the skull and crossbones i guess coming on screen every time you died it was hilarious and uh yep that was the best part in my opinion yeah it was it was hilarious it, it was funny it, it had a sense of humor because this this <laughs> whole story is stupid but <clears throat> they, they can't make like a uh like a 3d world i guess or it's like dramatic and all that they gotta rely on yeah. like, the humor, I, I guess. Just like, okay, this is kind of stupid, but it's kind of funny. Funny stupid, you know? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I liked about I it. They took that was what, probably the goal. Yeah, they, they took the elements of what they could do, and they pushed it to how... Push it as far as they could possibly go with it. I, I really did enjoy it. It was really hard for me, I guess, but still, it was very, very... Uh, it was very interesting, I, I guess you can say that. It's very, it's very interesting. It, it played with a lot of uh, it played with a lot of uh, normal like <laughs> technology, I guess. Like, yeah. 
of course it's not really holograms in there but the way they use like the tv i guess to like project it with a concave like mirror i guess yep it, yep it was kind of that's cool. it was well it was very well done and the it was the effect worked it was really neat yeah it, it was really at. well done and yeah just thinking outside the box you know like the guy who invented duct tape i guess he like did some stuff the guy who invented barbed wire the guy who invented this you know it's like it's a very well that's right very well done design i have to uh i have to give props to the guy that invented this now that it being was. said the story's kind of a uh, lackluster i guess yeah the gameplay was it seemed far far more simplistic and easier than dragon's lair in my opinion and yeah it, it was and it, it was also live action it wasn't animated maybe except for the the infamous uh, laughing skull face that gets electrocuted when you die but uh yeah huh. i don't know it's just kind of it was kind of weird that the people were kind of coming in there's like there's like obviously like a screen that's coming in and it's like people aren't just yeah. like running from like the other side of from the other side of the uh the play field they were just running in from like this obvious like box you know this like one box that you can see from it and it's kind of weird that you can only see anything from like this one box not like the entire play field but other than that i thought it was very well done what would you give oh. what would you i thought the uh the outside of it the art design of it was kind of a little too simplistic, I guess. I mean, it was still really good, but still, it was kind of like... I don't think they were going for the artistic appeal. It was supposed to look futuristic. Yeah, it's supposed to look futuristic. It's supposed to look like... The art was whatever, okay? The, the, the gameplay is where it's at, I guess. That's where they were, more or less, yeah. I guess, going for. What would you and give... And the people that die, when you die, that's oh, yeah. also... Yeah, I would give it a solid. Uh, I think this one deserves, and may, it may only be because of the the death animation scene, but uh, I think I'll give it an A. It's it's pretty cool. I would love to own this if I can ever find it. Really? If you think Dragon's Lair is rare and hard to come by, though, this is even good better. luck finding a hologram. It's probably even harder to come by and twice as expensive i was gonna say i thought you would give this an a plus just for the like duh, the uh uh-huh. the, the engineering behind you was just absolutely fantastic duh. but i mean it wasn't completely it was very innovative but there had been like holographic image type games before this like a uh, space invaders kind of did the same thing where it looks like the game is floating on like a cardboard cutout background, but it's not quite as advanced, obviously as hologram, but you know, it it was neat to see how they implemented it. And another cool thing about it is that they actually just put a standard run of the mill television set in there. And, that probably makes the game easy to service because that TV probably isn't all that rare and it's probably cheap to buy compared to an actual arcade monitor. Ask me how I know that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Anyway. That's my hologram. That's very surprising. I thought you would give this an A+, plus, but yeah. I, I was going to be right up there with you, like maybe an A to an A-, minus, mainly because yeah. of the... Uh, like, I know their limitations and all that. Like, I, I know that it took, like, a... it was, like, very, very, it was, like, almost a dream for this to happen. But at the same time, you know, it's like a box. And I wish they, yeah. could, they could have gone a little bit further with, like, the uh, engineering of it to have it, like, people coming from, like, the other side of the play field. But, I mean... That's obviously they couldn't. Obviously, it's so hard to like do this, let alone have them come from other playing fields. So I I get that. However, just the the play of it is kind of 
it was kind of meh, you know? Yeah. It, it was revolutionary. I'm glad I played it. But still, at the same time, it was, you know, I wish there was more to it, I guess, than just them running up out of, like, a corner in, like, this one box that you can see, you know, like a TV. But anyway. That's true. Yeah. So, there you go. All right, guys. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of this game. Do you think it rocks? Yep. Do you think it sucks? No. Do you think it's a revolutionary beyond engineering? Do Comment, let me know, subscribe, ring that bell. More content coming your way. And, Hendry, want to take us out? Sure. I'm slant. I'm, I'm not slant. No, I'm, I'm skit. Ah, I fooled you there, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Anyway, real time. I'm skits. This has been Slam, and we'll see you on the next video.